It's a symbol of her daughter, Colleen Slemmer. This is uh, a shirt or, that Colleen wore when she was younger, um, before she was killed. A shirt sewn onto a teddy bear after the 19-year-old was killed far from home in a satanic ritual Friday the 13th, 1995. Her killer, Krista Pike, is the only woman on death row in Tennessee. Krista Pike wanted a human sacrifice, and my daughter was it. According to court documents, Pike thought Slemmer was trying to steal her boyfriend. So she bashed Slemmer's skull and carved a pentagram into her chest with a meat cleaver. 300 cuts. Over the years, Tennessee has mailed me body parts in a box, not saying what it is or anything like that, and I just get body parts. And four years ago, I came home with her human skull on the airplane. But she's still missing a piece of that skull, the piece that her killer kept as a trophy. It's being used as evidence. But her mother wants it back so she can bury her daughter's body properly. And I think it's wrong. I think they should have taken a picture. They could have made a mold. So we turn to forensic specialist and former JSO detective Michael Knox. He says the evidence will be kept until the hours before Pike's execution. Because in this case where you have a piece that was a, a trophy taken by the killer and kept by the killer, that becomes a key link between that person and the victim. And so that's a very important piece of evidence that could come back again. I have kept every piece. Martina says she won't bury her daughter until she has her whole body. I don't ever think you have closure because she can't have her friends go see her, talk to her. I can't put flowers. There's nothing there. She's just in a box. This box filled with Colleen's ashes. It stays here in her living room, and it's been here for two decades. Can't be done. I got to fight for Colleen. I'm her voice.